Hello everybody! Today again I'm going to talk about uh, our asparagus. We bought some more roots that uh, came today. So we're going to prepare the ground and we're going to plant them in the ground. Let me show you the roots we have. So this is the roots. That's how they arrived today. It's very interesting. We uh, go, we're preparing the ground today and they're going to be planted in the ground. Apart from our asparagus from the seeds that is going to be planted as well, we've got this whole bag of roots. We've got our old asparagus roots that they're doing very well. We're very pleased with them. So I'll show you how we do that. So today we're working out the soil Chris is actually on the tractor working out the, out the soil on the other side of the glass house um, using a subsoiler to really go deep about 80 centimeters in the ground and to fluff up the, the soil in there so we can plant the asparagus roots and they've got nice space for the roots to develop and uh, grow nice uh, asparagus. So there in the other side I'm going to go in the minute. I want to say um, it's a big noise there, so excuse the noise because the tractor is working. So follow me there. This, this is in preparation for doing some of the longer term root crops, uh, more asparagus going in, more winter vegetables going in, and there's a little bit of a hard shelf about six to nine inches, that's 15 to 25 centimetres down and I'm busting that open so that the drainage can work, the plants can then deep root and have good crops for this coming winter. Three times, as close as I can get to the posts, now I'm pulling through the bays, cross pulling it so that it busts it all open, all underneath this, coming down at about 80-90 centimetres, round about two and a half feet three feet in uh, old money. So. It's not easy working with the tractor here in the glass house, but uh, Chris is doing a good job actually, to be honest. Uh, through these metal posts and uh, the bars that goes across, he has to <laughs> manage them and drive the tractor in a way that he doesn't touch any post, but as well to get closer to the post uh, to bust the um, soil up. So, um, yeah, it is a challenge actually, but um, hopefully we're not gonna, we're not gonna have to do this every year. The soil actually is um, good and uh, we are happy for uh, this soil and the glass house and we, that's why we are planning to plant some uh, winter um, vegetables like uh, carrots and other stuff what we have on our list. So we're gonna have product through the winter and in early spring as well, which is a good thing uh, especially having the um, the cover on, I, I mean the glass house, and then we can put some fleece on them. I think it will work very well. So that's the plan at the moment. Let's see how we're getting on. Okay, so we have access to composted horse manure. We've been and dug a bit out, and we shall spread that out and work that into the ground. Increasing the facility, the fertility of the ground, the soil, so that the plants have all the goodness to grow good crops. So, spreading the soil over in the so on the soil, the manure that's been well composted. It's very important to have organic matter. This improves the condition of the soil. The organisms in the soil then have chance to break the fertilizers down so that the plant is able to take up the nutrition from out of the soil. You can see this is well rotted manure. You can't use fresh, fresh manure because it heats up and in the process of heating up it will burn the roots of the new plants. 
So it's very important to have your manure at least 12 months to 18 months after being laid up, then you can uh, start to use it. This is also a good source uh, for growing mu our mushrooms as well. So we have uh, quite a, a rich supply of compost for the growing of the glasshouse. You can see this is then incorporated into the soil with a rotera. The rotera at the moment uh, going backwards because there's quite a, a few big lumps on the soil that uh, have been busted open with a subsoiler. So this is being mixed into the top layer and so that it's even between, evenly distributed between the 3.2 meter bays. You can see the crumble roller at the back. So when we've mixed all the manure in with the soil, it levels the soil out so it's not too much in one way and too much in the other. It, you'll see that it uh, starts to make a nice level bed. We also have another machine that is only half of this width but this is three meters wide giving the level soil level in within the bay now the soil is mixed it's ready for wetting up bringing the soil up to field capacity as you can see the rotation of the the blades on the machine that cut through the soil, chop it all up into pieces, making it manageable. There we are, look at them all moving. And with the crumble roller at the back, then it makes the soil nice and level when it's finished. See there's the irrigation, the spray line above. Just doing this one bay at the moment each bay can be done individually or done together not only with a spray line but also with drip irrigation but this is just to wet the soil up so we can incorporate all the manure and all the fertile soil deeper into the ground so thanks for watching Hope you enjoyed a little insight of to what is going on at Fentomada Farm with the updated video. Keep safe with the variety with the virus that's going round and hope you can subscribe. See you next time.